What's up, YouTube? It's Tedawuga. Just got done watching the uh, the Floyd Mayweather Victor Ortiz fight. All right. Uh, I had Floyd Mayweather winning this fight. You can see it in my prediction. I had him winning the fight. I knew he was faster, uh, more talented, more experienced. Um, Victor Ortiz, if he was going to win, he was going to try to manhandle him and uh, land that big punch uh, somewhere along the, the fight. Now, let me, let, me, let me tell you guys how I had this fight. The fight was, comp, compu box wise a landslide. Vic, uh, Floyd Mayweather landing the more crisp, cleaner uh, right hands and whatnot. Um... But even though he was winning by CompuBox standards, you can tell that they stylistically they were very evenly matched up. It, it looked like it was going to be a great fight, probably one of the one of the few good ones that we'll see Floyd Mayweather in. And then, uh, as far as the four rounds that it lasted went, the first round it was it was more of a uh, war of nerves. The second, uh, the first round, I gave it to uh, I gave it to Floyd Mayweather. The second round, it was more war of nerves, but you can you can tell Victor Ortiz had a better round, and Floyd Mayweather didn't have as good a round as he had the first round. So I scored it for Ortiz. So uh, the third round, all Mayweather, all Mayweather. He was landing a lot of uh, right straights, and Victor Ortiz wasn't. His punch output was very low. Uh, his connect percentage was really low. I think he landed like two power shots or something that whole round. So that third round was all Victor Ortiz. Fourth round, or I'm sorry, third round was all Floyd Mayweather. Fourth round, uh, the fourth round came in and uh, Victor Ortiz looked, it looked like Danny Garcia told him something in the ring and he was, he was getting into war mode. He was getting into vicious Victor Ortiz mode and he got to Mayweather uh, uh, several times, two or three times in that in that fight, um, he landed some good shots, which drove Mayweather back into the ropes, and uh, he was he was uh, throwing a lot of bombs. Not a lot of them were connecting, but again, when you're fighting Floyd Mayweather, you want to hit him at anywhere you can. Uh, doing stuff like that throughout the fight, it doesn't get you compu box points, but it does it does win rounds. There's a difference between your what the CompuBox statistics said and what physically looking at the fight was saying. Physically looking at the fight, it looked like Floyd Mayweather was in a lot of trouble in the fourth round, and uh, it looked like the fight was gonna, you know, take off from there. And Victor uh, was, you know, like I said, he came into vicious mode. Towards the end of the fourth round, Victor Ortiz hits him uh, with a right right hook, left straight. And Floyd Mayweather goes down. He he gets backed up into the corner, and Victor Ortiz is teeing off. He's not connecting. It looked like out of frustration, uh, Victor Ortiz, uh, even though he said he didn't intentionally do it, I don't think he intentionally wanted to. But when your body's just frustrated like that, you kind of and you're trying to manhandle and trying to go at him, you kind of do things that even you don't want to mentally do. Either way, it was a headbutt. And I felt that uh, Joe Cortez taking a point off was was uh, pretty justifiable. Could have given him a warning, but it looked pretty. That headbutt looked pretty stern, and uh, I think it it cut Mayweather's lip. And uh, Joe Cortez was said time out or time. That means stop boxing. One point, one point, one point. And during all this one point nonsense, Victor Ortiz. Went up to Floyd Mayweather. He kissed him in the cheek. He wanted to apologize, and uh, I, I think from there, Joe Cortez told him to go to the neutral corner and uh, have you. The referee, once he says time, it's customary in boxing when you hear time out or time. That means you don't fight until the referee gives you the go ahead. It says time in or you know touch gloves, keep it clean, let's go. You know something like that. And uh, looks like there was one second left in the fourth fight, fourth uh, uh, fourth round, and uh, Floyd Mayweather disgracefully, despicably, disgustingly hits Victor Ortiz 
uh, with a left hook. Victor Ortiz at this moment w was not sure what was going on. He was looking over at the referee and have you Joe Cortez, the dumbest fucking referee in the game in the business, was looking over at God knows what instead of even saying time in or hold up or what what are you guys doing? I never said go again after he was taking the point off. Uh, he uh, th then uh, Floyd Mayweather not only does he hit him once but he hits him again and Victor Ortiz was like what the hell he Victor Ortiz was in hug embracing mode and he wasn't even looking at Floyd Mayweather when Floyd Mayweather hit him with that right, right straight and uh, obviously when you're not looking at a punch it's going to discombobulate you and uh, lo and behold Victor Ortiz goes down uh, doesn't make the 10 count back up and Floyd Mayweather wins the fight disgracefully in the fourth round. And then uh, at this point, all oh, hell is breaking out. Like, fans don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Uh, and then uh, one thing I, wanna, I wanted to point out that there, I understand the phrase protect yourself at all times. So don't start leaving comments about protect yourself at all, at all times. But there's a limit to what being sportsman, uh, sportsmanship and being a, a proper humble fighter in the ring uh, to what Floyd Mayweather is. And Floyd Mayweather is a disgusting, disgraceful piece of shit. I hope he rots in hell. I, I can't freaking st I can't believe what he just did I can't believe you you could even tell Floyd was pissed off at himself because uh, uh, first of all you can tell he's real edgy after that win instead of being so happy that he knocked out a dude he's really edgy as if he knows he did something wrong and like he's not proud of himself so when lo and behold Larry Merchant asks him about it he starts dodging the question and goes off on Larry Merchant calls him a piece of shit and how HBO should fire him and Larry Merchant to I have I, I used to not really like his smart ass comments but now Larry Merchant is ranking up high on my list of commentators he said quote if I wasn't if I was 50 years younger I'd beat the shit out of you good for you Larry good for you and loan uh, and also uh, Emmanuel Stewart widely claimed as the best mind best commentator best trainer of boxing of this freaking era it said th that was so disgraceful that he doesn't like he has no comment he didn't even want to comment on what just happened so all you freaking fucking piece of shit Floyd Mayweather nut and I'm a Floyd Mayweather fan I like his skills but this is the type of shit that I'm talking about and all you people that think this is okay what he did and, and you guys are okay with unsportsmanlike shit if, uh, imagine if Pacquiao or Victor Ortiz did that to Floyd Mayweather you guys would you guys, I wouldn't hear the end of it with you motherfuckers. But when it happened, when Floyd does it, it's all good, isn't it? Yeah, you dumbass piece of shits. Either way, though, disgraceful fight for Floyd Mayweather. Disgraceful night of boxing. Uh, I can't believe, like, even Mayweather was disgusted at himself. Because, otherwise, he wouldn't be so agitated at just what, what just happened. He wouldn't be so pissed off. Uh, when you knock someone out, that feeling that comes in you, you feel good about it. You're jumping all over the ropes, you're screaming, you're flying around in the air. Floyd Mayweather was agitated. You know why? Because he knows he did some bullshit. Either way, bullshit. I don't even want Pacquiao to fight this piece of shit freaking guard. I don't think, I think his boxing license should be revoked and I think their fight should, uh, uh, one of two things. One of two things is uh, Floyd Mayweather, this win does not, uh, win and loss does not uh, go on anyone's record for this fight and they must mandatorily do this over again because whether you freaking Mayweather piece of shit fans want to admit it or not, Victor Ortiz was getting to Mayweather, they were stylistically, they look like they were really good dance partners, it could have been a really good fight, it could have gone either, either freaking way and uh, like I said, it was vicious mode in round four, and Victor Ortiz looked like he was coming out to him. Either way, I'm freaking pissed off. Bullshit ass fight. Fuck Floyd Mayweather. This is Ted Aluga. Peace.